By 2030, the number of Singaporeans age 65 or older will multiply threefold to 900,000. There will be a greater demand for the highest quality medical care. At the forefront of this transformation are the healthcare professionals and the National University of Singapore Yonglu Lin School of Medicine takes pride in its role of shaping these healthcare professionals of tomorrow. We are the training wellspring of Singapore Medicine. We produce the greater majority of doctors in Singapore and we are therefore well positioned to look ahead to Singapore's healthcare needs. So we try to align the curriculum with the future demographic needs, anticipating the elderly population, the rise of chronic diseases, so that it prepares our graduates for the problems of the future. The school's rich history and heritage provide the inspiration for future doctors to create milestones of their own. The school was started by Singaporeans, for Singaporeans, uh, in 1905. Since then, we have served Singapore and I'm very proud to say that we have very strong faculty who are able to teach as well as to do research. With state-of-the-art infrastructure in place, students are put at the forefront of patient-centred care. One of the biggest advantages of putting students through uh, simulation training is to enhance patient safety. It gives us the opportunity to recreate uncommon, rare or even dangerous conditions in a safe environment. We try to use multimedia to supplement the learning appropriately. And some of the examples that we have is multimedia to illustrate some of the important concepts to allow the student to do a virtual dissection of the specific area that it displayed. The school also recognizes the importance of biomedical research in the practice of medicine. Medicine at the same time is also practiced a bit differently. There's an increased emphasis on uh, prevention, prediction and also precision. We believe that the biomedical research and uh, innovation initiatives should be undertaken by a team of people in order for us to better cope with the changing healthcare. Our campus is well placed to actually lead research in many areas that the university is identifying as key, such as oncology, infectious disease and so on. Being involved in research and innovation has enabled me to think about how I can better improve healthcare and medicine, even as a medical student. These opportunities allow us to have an early exposure to research and innovation and helps us make a difference in the lives of our future patients. The NUS Yong Lu Lin School of Medicine is a homegrown institution with an international reputation for excellence. In my third year, I had the opportunity to go to the Royal Brompton Hospital in London to learn about paediatric cardiology. It was a very eye-opening experience being able to learn from patients firsthand and getting exposed to cutting-edge interventional cardiology. I think our doctors will need qualities of both the heart and the head and we seek to inculcate in them values of empathy and compassion so that they remember they are treating patients and not just diseases. Ethics lies at the heart of medicine and healthcare. This is a profession that looks to the welfare of the sick and suffering patient. So it is important that ethics training be provided to sustain a professional community of good standing. Participating in community service projects have allowed me to gain many invaluable experiences. These outside-the-classroom experiences have taught me that treating a patient's physical disease is insufficient. We have to take care of their social, economic and emotional well-being as well. Investing for the future means investing in the people of the future. The school has to continually stay at the forefront of not just medical innovation, but also teaching innovations to educate the ever-changing student population. We focus on using collaborative learning cases right from the start to train students to think clinically while still maintaining a strong scientific foundation. A good doctor is compassionate, competent and community responsive and it is the responsibility of the school to make sure that the conditions are right for these values to flourish in the students. 
in the 21st century, Asian universities and Asian hospitals will no longer be content to follow the practice and knowledge laid down in textbooks a hundred years ago by Western doctors. They will want to push the boundaries and improve healthcare. And this is a great privilege in the university to be able to have bright young students and to see them learn their craft and their knowledge and become great doctors in future.